Frida is going to go ahead and help us demonstrate some sub-Q fluids and where we can administer those. So as with the sub-Q injections, um, you can kind of give those injections for sub-Q fluids anywhere right here along the side of the body, kind of where the really spiny skin meets the underbelly skin. I usually find that this area has a lot of expansion to it and a lot of elasticity to it. So it's a really great place to be able to give fluids. You can give that anywhere all the way down to the inguinal area right here. Um, so I usually find that to be a great place to give fluids. Another place that you can give it is up top here. Again, you get some decent expansion, not quite as good as here on the side. So we'll go ahead and show you the side here for right now. When restraining, if you don't have somebody to help you restrain, sometimes you can do this on your own. So just kind of gently putting your hand under the chest and then you can take that front limb and just kind of pinch it with your pointer finger and your middle finger there and draw it forward. And that way you have access to the skin along the side here. So we're gonna go ahead and put this needle underneath the skin and the scales. So ideally going in between scales when doing it. So now our needle is underneath the skin. You can kind of see. You don't wanna go very deep. Um, their skin is very thin and they have a very minimal subcutaneous layer and their body wall muscle is actually quite thin. And so we just wanna stay right underneath the skin here. To make sure that you are under the skin, when you um, insert your needle, just go ahead and draw back a little bit, make sure that you're getting negative pressure, which we are, so we can go ahead and give those fluids. When you're giving the fluids, you wanna make sure that you see that little bubble kind of draw up, which it is, it's looking really great. You can kind of see that filling up there. And then afterwards, you can just pull the needle right on out. You may see a little bit of leaking sometimes from this area, and if you do, just place a little piece of gauze right on over the area where the needle went in. But that's one of the areas, and like I said, you can do areas up here along the back or down in the inguinal area as well but they usually tolerate it pretty well.